in this time. Well, the worst measles outbreak we've had in the last 25 years, the CDC announcing there are now more than 700 cases across the country. Fox 9's Iris Perez is live in our newsroom right now with that story. And Iris, tonight a lot of adults might be wondering if they still need the vaccine. Kelsey, Jeff, it really depends on if you were vaccinated, when you were vaccinated, or if you lost documentation proving you got the MMR shot. With currently 22 states seeing measles cases, we should all be curious. And for those who want to skip a trip to the doctor, the answer is a simple blood test away. Elbow nice and straight for me. We're just going to find your vein here really quick. Reassuring instructions. That looks good. Are the kind Alex Lampkin routinely provides. So I'm going to clean it off you with alcohol. The habit is one he formed as the owner of any lab test now in Plymouth, where he's received an increase in calls from people curious about the measles blood test. You know, we, I know we can get results within a day or two, um, so it's just one less step for people to have to take um, if, they, if they are immune to it. Um, and then also you're not injecting something into your body that you don't need. The 15-minute $49 test reveals if you have enough antibodies to fight measles, the option ideal for anyone who's lost vaccination records or people born between 1957 and 1971. The measles vaccine that was introduced at that time um, may not have been as effective as the current vaccine. The immunity test may also prove helpful to those who simply don't want to double up on the measles, mumps, and rubella shot. So we have probably several requests a day to test for measles. While there aren't any recorded measles cases in Minnesota so far this year, the Department of Health suggests an alternative. If you're going to take the time to um, go and see a provider, I would recommend you just get vaccinated. Which even Alex can agree with, considering children and the elderly face the greatest risk. And if you know that your kids are, are not immune, then yeah, I think you should be worried because you, know, you, you don't want to have to put your children through that illness if, if you don't have to. Remember, it was just two years ago. There were 75 measles cases in Minnesota, and right now, New York state lawmakers are pushing for a new bill that would ban all non-medical exemptions for vaccines when it comes to school children. This would include religious exemptions. The vast majority of measles cases are currently centered in New York. Kelsey?